Do you struggle to come up with masculine style card ideas? Well, I'm with you. The struggle is real. So today I have two masculine style cards to share with you that don't require the use of a special stamp set. Actually, all you need is some cardstock. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, you will learn how to use a gatefold to create a tuxedo card. Now, there are two different tuxedo card ideas featured in this video. The first tuxedo card is a very simple fun fold card, and the second design is that little gatefold. It's a stepped up version of the first card. By the end of this video, you will have two tuxedo templates and some instructions to help you make these fun little cards. These masculine card ideas are perfect for weddings, anniversaries, or any other occasion in which you want to create a unique masculine style card. For the latest card making ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell so you will be notified each time I upload a new video. Now I can easily whip up a pretty little feminine style card, but a masculine card, well, I really have to think about those a bit. Plus, there just are not a lot of masculine themed stamp sets out there, which really forces us to kind of think outside the box. So leave me a comment below and let me know what your biggest challenge is when it comes to making masculine style cards. Okay, so first let's talk about some of the basic supplies you will need to create these cards. Of course, you will need some black cardstock to create the base of your card, as well as some white and red cardstock for the accent pieces. Now you don't have to use red cardstock, you can choose whatever color you want, but for the purpose of this video, um, I'm going to share the actual supplies that I used. Now you will also need a half inch circle punch or some kind of die cut to create the little buttons for the tuxedo. I recommend using some small ovals. Um, so you can use punches or die cuts, but the ovals should be about one and a half to one and three quarter inches long to create the bow tie for the card. Now for this card, I happen to use a punch that I have, but ovals will work just fine. I'll show you how to do both. You can also use any stamp set that you have on hand. So the stamp set that I am using is the meant to be stamp set. In, in particular, I'm using the just for you sentiment out of here to create um, this masculine themed card. Um, but you can use any set that you have. Uh, I'm using it to create a greeting on the front of one of the cards. Um, you can also use a stamp set to stamp a message on the inside of the card, or you can just leave the inside blank and write your own personalized message. And you will also need some kind of black rhinestones or some type of embellishment to create the little buttons on the tuxedo. And the last thing I used was one of the other punches that I have, this classic label. If you have um, any style punch like this um, will work well, or you can also cut this out um, with your paper trimmer. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that, but we're using this punch to create the pocket on one of the tuxedo cards. You will also need your paper trimmer or some type of scoring tool, and you will need a bone folder. All right, I think we're ready to get started. Card number one, the quick fold tuxedo card idea. So this first tuxedo card idea I want to share with you is a quick and simple one. Plus you can use this idea to create a tuxedo or a regular masculine style shirt. This is one of my favorite type of masculine cards to create because of the simplicity of it. So we will start by creating the base of the card. Cut a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of black cardstock. Score the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches to create the base of your card. Now grab a ruler and measure one and a half inches across the top of the card front. You will be measuring from the right hand side of the card front towards the center. Take a white pencil and make a little mark at one and a half inches. Now take your ruler and measure down the side of the card front the side that opens. Take your white pencil and make a mark at three and a half inches. Place the black cardstock in your paper trimmer. Use the scoring tool to create a score line diagonally from the one and a half inch mark to the three and a half inch mark. Now cut one piece of cherry cobbler cardstock at three and three quarter inches by five inches. 
open up the card and lay the red cardstock on the left side of the inside of the card so that it is centered on the black cardstock. Make a mark with your white pencil on the top and side of the red cardstock in the area where it meets up with the score line on the black cardstock. Now place the red cardstock in your paper trimmer and using the scoring tool, score diagonally between the two white marks. Now line up the score lines on the red cardstock with the score lines on the black cardstock and adhere the red piece to the inside of the card. Close the card and fold over the black and red pieces to the outside of the card to create the collar part of the suit or this tuxedo. Add a few dimensionals to the collar and adhere them down to the front of the card. Next, cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock and adhere it to the inside of the card on the right hand side. You can stamp a message on it or leave it blank so that you can handwrite a message later. Now stamp a sentiment on a piece of white cardstock using black ink. Cut out the sentiment using one of your favorite die cuts and adhere it to the front of the card. For the finishing touch, add a few buttons to the front of the tuxedo cut from some black cardstock. Use a half inch circle punch or use actual buttons if you have some on hand. And that's it. It's super fun and so simple. You can easily make this into a card for any occasion simply by changing out the colors or adding some masculine style paper patterns. Just get creative with it. Card number two, the tuxedo gatefold card. Now this next tuxedo card is actually a stepped up version of the first card I shared with you. To create this version of the tuxedo card, we are actually going to create a gatefold. Yes, we're making a gatefold card. So we will start by creating the base of the card. Cut a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of black cardstock. Score the eight and a half inch side at two and an eighth and six and three eighths inches to create the base of your card. Fold on all of the score lines so that the flaps meet in the center of the card. This is your gatefold. Now open up the gatefold card and using a ruler, measure one inch across the top of the gatefold flap. Take a white pencil and make a mark at one inch. Repeat this measurement on the other side of the gatefold card. Now take your ruler and measure down the side of one of the gatefold flaps. Take your white pencil and make a mark at three and a half inches. And repeat this measurement on the other side of the gatefold card. Now place the black cardstock in your paper trimmer. Using the scoring tool, create a score line diagonally from the one inch mark to the three and a half inch mark. Repeat the same scoring process on the other side of the gatefold card. Now cut two pieces of cherry cobbler cardstock at one and three quarter by five inches. Open up the gatefold card and lay one piece of the red cardstock on each panel of the gatefold card so it is centered on the panel. Make a mark with your white pencil on the top and side of the red cardstock where the score line meets up with the score line on the black cardstock. Now repeat this process with the other piece of red cardstock on the other side of the card. Now place the cardstock back in your paper trimmer and using the scoring tool, score diagonally between the two white marks. Now line up the score lines on the red cardstock with the score lines on the black cardstock and adhere the red pieces to the inside of the gatefold card. Close the card and fold over the little pieces to the outside of the gatefold card to create the collar part of the tuxedo. Add a few dimensionals to the collar and adhere them down to the front of the card. You have just created your tuxedo card. Okay, now let's decorate it. So let's start with creating the pocket. Now I use the classic label punch to create the pocket, but you can also cut out a pocket by hand using your paper trimmer. Punch out a classic label shape from black cardstock. Slide the shape back into the punch and snip off a bit more until it's small enough to fit on your tuxedo card. Then simply adhere it with a few dimensionals. For the finishing touch, add a few buttons to the front of the tuxedo cut from black cardstock. Use a half inch circle punch or use actual buttons if you have some on hand. 
All right, now let's decorate the inside of the card. Cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock and adhere it to the inside of the gatefold card. To create the bow tie, cut two small ovals that are approximately one and a half or one and three quarter inches long. I'm actually using a bow builder punch, but oval shapes will work the exact same way. So use a bone folder to round out the ovals a bit. You will be pinching the ends of the ovals together to create the loops on the bow. So place a glue dot on one of the tips, one of the ends of the oval and pinch the ends together. Now repeat this process with the other oval. Adhere the ends of the two ovals together to create the bow tie. Use a little glue dot to adhere them together. Now cut a 1 8 by 3 quarter inch piece of black cardstock. Add a few glue dots to it and wrap it around the center of the ovals. You have just created a bow. Now adhere the bow tie to the top of the white cardstock using a few dimensionals. For the finishing touch, add a few black rhinestones or other embellishment down the center of the white cardstock to create the little shirt buttons. That's it. Now you have a very formal and super unique little masculine style card. Isn't that fun? So how do you plan to use these masculine card ideas? Leave me a comment below and let me know if you plan to make some love themed cards, some birthday cards, or some other type of card with this design. Now you have two tuxedo templates and instructions to help you make these fun little cards. These masculine card ideas are perfect for weddings, anniversaries, or any other occasion in which you want to create a unique masculine style card. Although this tutorial features a more formal masculine themed card, these card designs can be used to create greeting cards for any occasion. Just get creative with it. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to download the printable tutorial. The tutorial includes all of the measurements, step-by-step -step instructions, and the templates for creating these cards. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the projects shared here today. Have fun getting creative, take care, and I'll see you soon.